Why, hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Camelot. Last time we stopped the forest from killing us. <laughs> Today we continue onward where there's a snake. Not only is there a snake, no, this guy made it here before us. Don't ask me how, but he has. <laughs> Ooh, the lunch slash. I think he only teaches you that if you're sword level 4. But don't quote me on that one. <clears throat> Yeah, we kind of knew that already, thanks to um, a certain wizard's quiz halfway through the game. How are you supposed to know this? <laughs> the first time you play it. Oh well. I guess they kind of expected you to have to do everything several times <laughs> to get a 100%. <clears throat> Which is kind of natural for a Game Boy game, so... well... <laughs> Back in that day we didn't have that much space to save our stuff on, our games on. They had like a couple hundred kilobyte, if even that. <laughs> I mean, only 10 years before this game came out, well, maybe 14, 15 years, Bill Gates himself said something about um, how 200 kilobyte are uh, way more than anyone would ever need in their entire life. <laughs> Nowadays, 200 kilobyte, good luck doing anything with that. <laughs> oh well. So, in order to continue on, we need to convince a certain pair to fly us there. Ooh, heart. I can use hearts, although there's going to be a place soon where I can farm a lot of hearts. You want apples and oranges. Got it. <laughs> but neither apples nor oranges are fast food. I wonder if there's an alternative. In said McDonald's ver uh, advertisement here. <laughs> no, I don't think McDonald's actually has anything made of both apples and oranges. <laughs> but feel free to enlighten me if something like that exists at all <laughs> in any fast food chain. Also, no, I'm not being paid to advertise for McDonald's. It's just the one, the big one that comes to mind. What other fast food chains are big in Germany? Well, I guess the second biggest one would already be Burger King, and then there's not a whole lot until KFC and Pizza Hut. Maybe. Don't quote me on any of that, though. Oh, by the way, we have a new attack. The lunch. No, that's not how you execute it. There it is. It's really powerful, but leaves you open... To attack. Oh boy. <laughs> and you have to hit things with it first. No, I'm not attacking downward with that. And I want that rat to come out of its hole because I want to go down there. Ow! You know what, rat? Screw you, too! It's not like I need my health for in here. Well, I did a test run of this yesterday, actually. And it went rather swimmingly. 
what I did was tie myself to that first guy. Nope, 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 dang it. Welp. Did I save after last time? No. I did, however, leave a safe state, so magic. <laughs> So, let's do the same thing again, but better. Alright, let's try this again, but better. And with a nice little save beforehand. <laughs> because we don't need to do the entire thing all over again. This went way better yesterday when I was practicing. Line yourself up between those two plants, somewhere like around here maybe. Well, it worked, so screw you all. Oh, hey! It's an orange. It better be the orange. It's the orange. <laughs> so, can't just walk around this guy. However, there's more plants up here. I don't really mind Ow. if I get hit a little bit, but I would have prefer to keep those hearts. By the way, if you for any reason want to go back into that cave, for example to get the orange, that's the way back in. I don't know why it spews you out up here. Maybe they just couldn't spawn you next to the entrance exit thing? Freaking rat! I was trying to kill you here. Oh well, we get a tomato! Or a tomapple, whatever. Ow! Oh crap. I. <sighs> okay. Screw you, rat. Screw you, apple. I did save after the cave, though. So that's nice. I might actually kill myself just so I can get back up to three hearts. That was not intentional, but I don't particularly mind. <laughs> Yay! Uh, no, I'm not gonna save again before the inevitable. You freaking rat! Yay, four hearts! <clears throat> this is looking much better than before. So I think we have both the apple and the orange. They don't show up on the collection screen, so... There. <clears throat> Over here we have the chum, because we like chums! And that's where the dragon is. Well. We got everything, so let's do the thing. Why yes. Devon is so excited he needs two dots extra. <laughs> yep, you are screwed. And guess what? They can fly! So this section is a bit, little bit on the lengthy side. And we get to shoot things! It's the original Toho. Well, not quite, but... <laughs> Maybe one or the other inspired. Well, the other. Bats. I like the bats much better in this stage. But, oh well. Hey, when did I get hit? Did I get hit? Wow. I was sure I had more health already. Don't shoot the bats too early, or the items they leave behind will despawn.
No, come on, drop a few more hearts. I was expecting you all to drop a couple more hearts for me. Wah! Crap. I ran straight into that one. This flying section is really lengthy. That's our goal. Camelot. But we are gonna do the flying section again. Because that's how this game rolls. Oh yeah. Well, at least I have more opportunities to farm for hearts. Although I should already be good for the boss. The boss for this level, not so hard. Wah. At least if I can trap him in a cycle again, like yesterday. <laughs> that was fun. Also, we kind of have more money than we ever need in the rest of the game. <laughs> Down with a flying section soon ish. <laughs> well, the answer for that is no. <laughs> That's Camelot, let's just land here. Come on, don't be silly buggers. Oh, but they are. We get to do the entire thing one more time. I have a feeling there are less, less bats around, which doesn't help if I run into them. In other words, they probably are the same bats and don't respawn or something. Don't quote me on that one either, though. They might be completely new bats. A completely new layout. Not like it matters either. And I did expect to get quite a little bit more health out of this section. Really? Oh well. Are we there yet? No! We get to do the entire thing another time, yes? Whew. I'm not entirely sure what the objective for this stage is. <laughs> I think it's just go through the thing four times. Maybe it's kill en enough of the bats. That would suck, honestly. <laughs> well, at least we get infinite ammo. By we get it to get infinite ammo, by the way, for the stage. Just in case you run out of money. The game isn't going to hate you for that. So, ah, there we are. There's the boss. And if you cheese him like that, he's a big old pussy. <laughs> Easiest boss in the game. The griffin itself. At least I think this is the griffin. I mean, what else is big, orange, and nasty? <laughs> and down he goes. And stage complete! Yay! Yep. But we did. I still wonder how he is going to. how he was going to use our mother. I'm still saying he held, held her in his uh, hand and sneak right clicked with her. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, well. And of course, we get another piece of the parchment. La 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 la. Which we'll pick up next time. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play Quest for Camelot. Let's pretend I didn't die two times. <laughs> or so. And this is Legion, and fare thee well.